What is going on guys, I'm Adriano and this video is about how to normalize data using FME Desktop. So I have a JSON file over here, it just contains a bunch of customer related data. Don't worry, all this data is made up, it's not real. So I've already brought it into FME as a JSON feature. Now if we inspect the data, you'll notice it's going to give us a sample of a thousand rows and we can see the, the ID first name, last name, email, gender, there's an IP address, company and department. So the ID is the actual unique ID of each customer, right? So how do I now create a department or a normalized table from the department column? So what I did here is I brought in the duplicate filter and put it onto the key attribute of department. Now, if we run that, what's gonna happen is we're gonna get only the unique department ID, so that's perfect. So now, if we look at it, out of these 5,000 records, we only actually have 12 departments. So now the next step, I'm just gonna remove all the unnecessary attributes. So I've removed um, everything except for department. And now finally, we can write it to our database. So if we look at our feature writer, what you'll notice is that there's just a department and we have a department ID column. So I'm writing this to a Postgres database and I selected serial and I made that the primary key. So I'm not actually gonna be writing to this from FME, it's gonna basically auto increment for every unique value that comes in. All right, so that looks good. And now if I give the entire workbench a run, All right, now it looked like that was successful. So we're just gonna check our Postgres database. I'm just viewing it in this program called Data Grip. Now, if I do select all from department, we see we got our 12 departments. So with only our reader, two transformers, and a writer, we've been able to successfully normalize the department data and write that to a SQL database. So I hope this video is helpful for giving you an idea how to normalize your data using FME. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next data integration tutorial. See you next time.